Whoa, Molly. Oh, it's you, Doggy. You're back. I'm stuck down here underground all the time, but just knowing you'll come to visit makes my heart sore. Well, isn't that special? Come on, then. Let's play, Okami. The Molster Dust Cloud Formation. It doesn't matter who wins. Hey, guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Paladin Plays Okami. Last episode, we met Molly and got him back on the straight and narrow, but on my way to the south gate to start the episode, he uh, apparently is back, and this time he is still on the straight and narrow, but... Oh! Uh, but but, but he, this time he's doing games, and wow, this is harder than his third phase. When we first faced him... Ah. Oh. Man, I just have to, like, run in circles and hope he's there. Like, this is... This is insane. So, yeah, we we just kind of did an exploratory episode last time. Whoa! That was amazing. And, uh, yeah, we got a straight bead, and we just explored uh, Taka Pass just to get familiar with the place. Herg! Ah, that's just like you, doggy. But the game hasn't started yet. Okay, phase two, which is harder than his third phase... Even still, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ugh. It's actually, it behooves you to switch directions while you're running because he apparently has like AI that that makes it so he kind of predicts where you're going to go and chooses the opposite direction to go. Whoa, there he is. Okay. Man, so if you just like keep mixing yourself up, like, so... Wow! That was amazing! Like, I, I was hoping that I wouldn't get it wrong there, but I started dashing before he even appeared, knowing, sort of knowing that he was going to be there. That was amazing! You can be pretty tough sometime, doggy, sometimes, doggy. On to the next round. That was so cool! That was amazing. Hopefully I can do that again. No, I can't. Okay. Yurg, boss, now's the time! T to what? <laughs> Strike? Kill us? <laughs> Wag! <laughs> Wag! Uh, Waluigi! <laughs> That's my battle cry, apparently. I don't know, he's wearing purple. But, I don't think he's Waluigi, he's too fat. This is really hard. It's like, just predict where he's going to be, and... It's like, betting! Except, it it's not, because we're not betting! We're gam- <laughs> not betting, children. It's gambling. Difference. <laughs> okay. Ooh, buh, buh. Over there, over there, over there. No. Okay. Really? This is hard. This is hard. There, buh, buh. No. This one. This one. No. This one. No. Okay. This is hard. Any longer, I'm gonna have to cut. Really? Game. Game. Come on. Give me a hard read. Give me a hard read. Like, Shadow Ganon and smash! Come on. It's funny. I didn't say Ryan that time. I should Shadow Ganon. Uh, I wish he was here for a pal's play. He probably saw this instantly. No. You're now's the time to strike. Okay. Come on. Come. Okay. Uh, any longer? And I'm going to have to cut. Seriously. Okay, I will give it. One more try. Oh, I could have gotten him there. Wow. Okay, one more try after I said that. Oh, give this. Okay, I will cut to when... Uh, oh, no, I'll speed up. That'll be funner. To when I do this, because that's just annoying. Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, who, who's the man now? Who, who's the man? <laughs> I just became Ryan because I did a hard read like, like that, bro. You got enthusiasm when you tackle me like that. It's a real inspiration, you know? Thanks for playing with me. Here, have this thing I dug up. So our reward for that is a vase, which sells for a ton of money. Ah! <sighs> ah! <sighs> Uh, 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 actually, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> uh, but I wish I had Shadow Ganon it up. Why I say Shadow Ganon? Because Shadow Ganon plays Ganondorf in uh, Project M. He used to do it in, in Brawl, but he doesn't play Brawl anymore. 
and he he did the hard reads because Ganon, you really have to do hard reads. In fact, um, do you guys watch Survivor? Just just question. Do you guys watch Survivor? No. Yes. Have you watched Survivor uh, Survivor Gabon? That season also is becoming nighttime. Nighttime. Well, in it, for those of you who have watched it, you may have seen Ken. Okay, Ken. Uh, back at that time, played Smash Brothers literally for a living. He was one of the best pro sm smashers in existence. He has one of the best tournament records in existence. Um, he's won like first or second place or third at every almost every single tournament he's ever entered. And yeah, he won over forty thousand dollars from Smash. Right. Um, he, he used to have the best Marth in existence in Melee. Well, anyway, he does, uh, Super Smash Brothers streams, and on it, um, he was playing Project M, or his, his buddies and him were playing Project M online, and they are picking out random people in the, um, in the chat on Twitch to play matches with them. And he was like, okay, we have time for one more person, and that person is Shadow Ganon. And Shadow Ganon, Ryan, got to play against one of, um, Zay, uh, one of, not Zade, one of, uh, Ken's best buddies, a semi-pro or pro, I'm not sure, I didn't actually watch it myself, I just heard Ryan raving about it afterwards. So he got to play against, um, one of Ken's buddies, and in Project M, you can do one of the, um, Gandorf's laggiest moves is his, uh, special move, and... That one has like th like a two to three second charge up time, but you can turn it around, and that makes it have a longer charge up time, but it makes it be more powerful. And you can turn around up to four times. Ryan got a quadruple <laughs> turnaround warlock punch. That's what the m move's called. In on one of Ken's best buddies, and that was a hard read if I ever heard of one in my life. So, yeah, Ryan still lost, but he could probably beat actually legit. Ryan could. Pr probably beat Ken now, because Ken's not as good as he once was. Sorry, Ken, if you're watching, but I doubt if you are. <laughs> so, yeah, or it's just a testament to Ryan's skill. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through here, which I didn't, I accidentally went into the map transition, to go to the new area, Kusa Village, in the south part of the map. Here it is. Here it is. This is a curse zone of sorts. If you can see on the upper left hand corner, we were losing ink there. Yikes! What's this creepy old, creepy evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse zone here, but I definitely sense evil. We are losing ink like crazy sauce. Yes, sauce is going crazy right now. So yeah, it's it's bad news bears. Uh, we will not be able to use any ink tech, e ink things, brush techniques. That's what I'm thinking of here. In fact, even with the ink we have left, if we use them. They will be blocked by the shield of um, evil Kanji um, before us, blocking our brush. No go, Furball. Your celestial brush ain't gonna work in evil in evil power this strong. So yeah, we have to progress without any ink. So let's go and talk to the shop owner and see what he has to say. Of all the luck, I want to do some trading over at the Gale Shrine, but it's been taken over by some. Weird monster, and it's panic all around. I didn't get to read that. Oh well. I suppose I'll just have to make the best of it now. Have you been sent here to do some shopping for your master? Yes, I have. Let's go ahead and sell our treasures. Which we only have two. And then buy some stuff. If you can see here, we have a pinwheel, which I'm going to ha going to go ahead and buy, which that uh, tea customer wanted because his wife wanted one. So let's go ahead and buy that for a thousand yen. And we have a new reflector, the Infinity Judge. It is a third tier reflector. But we can't buy it, because we are 4,000 yen short. But we also have gold dust. This is the second shop that carries gold dust, so let's go ahead and buy two of them. And now we're down to 26,000 yen. And let me go ahead and restock on this stuff. Now, if you notice, that is a third tier reflector, the Infinity Judge. Which means that we only have a tier 1 rosary, and we're already getting a tier 3 reflector. And there's actually yet another tier of weapons, which we haven't even seen or heard of yet, and that one we don't even have any weapons in. So you can see that they're paying a lot of attention to reflectors, and my guess is because it's still so early in the game, and 
Goodbye, Snarling Beast. I knew you well. Because it's so early in the game, they're giving us a lot of reflectors because they're the easiest weapon to use. Rosaries, you have to constantly be aware that you're going to be overkilling enemies and have to make adjustments for that. And, well, the last tier of weapons, I won't talk about that yet because we haven't even seen one. So, I'd rather not go over something we haven't seen. Oh, feedback, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to these women here. You know, the priest of the shrine was gobbled up by that monster. That's not good. I'm sure that's what stopped the divine wind from blowing. Monsters have been attacking the Gale Shrine, you see. The strength of the Shrine God is growing weaker and weaker. The Divine Wind used to make the windmill there turn like a charm. But that's not all. How much longer is this going to go on? Kusa Village is famous all over for its Divine Wind. And yet now it's stopped blowing and we're in a terrible mess. That wind is our livelihood. And the air is foul without it. Oh, is there really nothing that can be done? Come to think of it. There's nothing. Literally, we cannot do anything right now. We have no ink. We're just a normal wolf that happens to understand Japanese because it's being translated for us. This is Japanese that's being spoken. Hello, little doggy. This flower bed used to be really pretty, you know. It was full of flowers, all thriving on the mountain water. But then the wind stopped and the water dried up. And now... But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. The flowers were so pretty here, but now it looks like it's just filled in with ev with de dead grass. I almost said evil grass. It is evil. B uh, but I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. Sad, because she's doing that in vain. Because in this sort of curse zone, this evil presence, we can't do anything. She can't do anything, because nothing can grow here. The only thing that can exist that's living is the stuff that was here already. Like this. Which I can't even cut, because I'm that weak. I can't even cut grass. That's how weak I am. A blade of grass is stronger than I am. Also, how is she not getting freaked out by the skull? Like, it's a skull. In fact, as a moment of silence for the cow that this skull belonged to, let us spend the rest of this episode gazing at this skull. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the new episode. This is part two. Last episode, we had a long moment of silence for the skull. Which, it's it's a skull. Skull. <laughs> a ghost skull. <laughs> which is the worst kind of skull, truly. Ones that disappear when you look at them. So you never know where they are. Oh, we broke it. Oh, we broke it. I had... Ugh, it had oranges in it. Gross. <laughs> oh my word, that was gross. <laughs> a skull that had oranges in it. Okay, I'm not going to talk about what those oranges might be. They might be brains, I don't know. So let's go ahead and go through this door and just talk to people. Oh, there's no one in here, but there's food. So let's take their food and they will starve. Take their peaches... Do they have soup that we can grow? They have a mushroom. I wish I could have that. I just recently had mushrooms for, like, the very first time. Because my family doesn't... Well, my mom does. But my family does not like mushrooms. So I never really... I don't think I've ever had them. I always just thought, Ew, mushrooms, gross. But I never had them. And then I had them at... When I was, I was like, at Ryan's house. And he was like, Mushrooms, bro. They're good. And I was like, Cool, dog. I'll eat them. And I did, and I was like, whoa. And so I'm addicted to mushrooms now. Not, actually, I should have, I, I should have thought that, <laughs> I should have thought that sentence through. <laughs> I'm not addicted to mushrooms. <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that there are multiple kinds of mushrooms, <laughs> and that some of them are addicting. <laughs> I'm not addicted to mushrooms, don't, don't read into that. I, I'm not, I, <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know how to revise that statement. I love mushroom. No, that doesn't work either. No, I'm helpless. I can't fix that that sentence. <laughs> okay, I tried mushrooms for the first time at Ryan's house, and three hours later, 
<laughs> when I could think again, and I could see normal colors, I decided I wanted more. <laughs> Uh, I hope he watches this episode. <laughs> uh, okay, Mrs. Plum, what now, Wolf? Another non-paying customer is all I need. Uh, I'm glad your name isn't Mrs. Mushroom. <laughs> that guy who came the other day has been a complete disaster. I let him stay because he claims to be descendant of Nagi. But he's hardly a monster killer. He sleeps in the woods all day. And he makes an awful noise crying out in his sleep at night. Maybe you could try chasing him off for me. Talking to wolves. Also, is that sleepy? Wait, is that sleepy? I can't go in first person, first wolf view here. But is that sleepy? Please tell me it's not, because... Let's hit him. Okay. This statue just looks, looks just like that sleepy bear. In fact, its face looks more like a bear than the real thing. Uh, did they kill sleepy and stuff him? Is he just standing here by the power of rigor mortis? Okay, um, when I have my godly powers back, um, you're going to be receiving a letter from the protection services, and, um, I'm going to cr promptly come down here and, um, burn your place down. Yeah, that, that's, that's the penalty for messing with Sleepy. Okay, let's, let's go, because that's just gross. So that is a bad woman. Don't us, don't look at them. <laughs> that is a bad man. Don't you look at him. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and just pillage these guys, these people's... People's? Yeah, the people's worse. Okay, these people's apartment. Destroying their walls. Stealing their clothes and peaches, apparently. We're stealing people's peaches. And going in their bathroom. Haruka. Eek! You're supposed to knock first. Can't you wait till I'm done? No. No. I ate a bunch of mushrooms. What are you going to do about it? I can see evil Japanese letters floating in front of my face. I can see all sorts of things. Really, this video is just me eating mushrooms and then using some sort of technology to show, so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So, yeah, I'm seeing this right now. Literally, I'm seeing this screen. I told you, wait till I'm done. Now get out of here before I scream again. And we can't talk to her, okay. We can only bark and yell at these people. I can only assume that Amaterasu is screaming out, like, insults. Hopefully she is, because they deserve them. They actually don't. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Now, she said that she mentioned how Susano, descendant of Nagi, I mean, of course, Susano, unless plot twist he has, like, a daughter or a son or something. That, that'd really shake things up, but, I mean, it's probably Susano. Hmm, I can't get on, get on with this at all. I'm trying to collect my harvest, you see, but only Mr. Bamboo's baskets can hold enough of it. Have you been, look been to his house yet, pup? He lives here in the village. People from far and wide, uh, wait, people come from far and wide to buy his work. Besides, he's a real master. I, I apologize if I'm distracted. I'm looking at texts from Ryan. <laughs> Man, Ryan's like the the star subject of this episode, so I should probably change it after this. I'm, I'm, tr I'm talking about him with about potential LPs, and he keeps texting me because I haven't told him that I'm recording. Anyway, but he suddenly stopped making anything. He said he just he just can't get a hold of any decent bamboo anymore. Hmm. Come to think of it, bark, bark. Did you come across a slightly ramshackle house at Taka Pass? The all the old couple there were the last ones to order bamboo ware. Apparently, they suddenly had to buy a bur buy, eh, they suddenly had to have a bird cage made for them. They've always hated animals, so I wonder why they want a pet now. Hmm. Interesting. Strange. We saw that house. I mean, we did. I I said we didn't have anything do it do with it yet. So maybe this episode we will. Oh, oh. Susana. No, no, not that. By the gods, no. I vow to. You won't, you won't ever. Hmm? It's Susano. He's one tenacious dude. Wonder what he's doing here. I bet he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by monsters. He seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. We woke him up. That dream again. 
Is there no escape? I thought by coming to the village. Hey there, Pops. Flounding around to your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to take a nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Mm hmm? Poochie. And little bug. Cough. Oh, uh. <laughs> Here, disturb my meditation again. Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work devising st strategies for defeating that crimson something or other. I came here to pray for the for victory at the Gale Shrine, but lo and behold, th that crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but mankind's fate rests with me. I must be, be I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well thought out plan. Now, where was I? Plan? Yeah, right. That's your, just your excuse to sleep. Blah! <laughs> uh, blah. I remember you. <laughs> what am I talking about? I, I'm just being random. Oh yeah, subject change! My camera controls! They're a little bit wonkier this episode, and that's because I've been playing Xenoblade like... Crazy, crazy nuts. Nuts were going crazy. Like, there are all sorts of pecans and, and cashews, which I don't like cashews. Peanut. Yes, peanuts are a nut. You're gonna say no, they're a legume, pal. But they're actually legumes are in the nut family. And also, uh, what's another one? Uh, macadamia nuts were all crazy. They're jumping. They were crazy nuts. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Xenoblade. I've been playing a lot of that. Speaking of which, Shulk was just announced in for Smash 4, thus confirming that the that the new leak for the full roster was correct. Which I will go into that in a second. Pothead. Fancy meeting you here. What do you have to say? Ah, you're that white wolf I saw back in Kamiki Village. I actually you I just realized I use the same voice for him that I do for when I get the white text boxes that say, like, you offered uh, Dixie Cups. You know, I, I use that same voice. So apparently it's him talking. I'm traveling the land to spread the good teachings of Buddha. I'm, I'm standing in a place where there is no one playing my flute. Thus spreading the good teach it, good teachings. There seem to be so many places in need of guidance. I can feel it here too. A sinister coldness in the air. You have to be on alert, uh, on alert at all times. Like now, behind you. So we'll be pitched into battle with zero ink. So we will not be able to use our weapons. However, there is an easy way to do this battle. Because Exorcism Slip S's are actually becoming outdated, I feel like it's my duty to use them, because, like I said, they're becoming outdated. We're going to be kind of switching over to Exorcism Slip's M's soon. So, I might as well use two now. Go ahead and use one, and go ahead and use another, and that will actually legit kill them all. We will miss the Floral Finchers, sadly, but... Wait, wait, okay, you're dead, okay, I thought you were still alive. I'm like, no, 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 that's bad news. So we'll kill them in very short times. <laughs> so yeah, we missed the Floral Finchers, but yeah, I kind of wanted to get that out of the way. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly seven seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I may have devoted myself to the following the path of Buddha, sitting in the corner with a pot on my head, playing the flute, and not telling people of any teachings at all. But your divine power is still a delight to behold. 15 praise. Nice. And we're up to 300. I don't actually want to start upgrading things until I reach 500 praise. Just because I feel like that would make a big difference when that happens. So anyway. Uh, the leak showing the roster. In case you didn't know, a couple days back there was a leak showing a bunch of screenshots of Smash 4. Including a bunch of new characters. And also it was showing... Wait, was that it? Oh yeah, also there are a couple videos on YouTube which were promptly removed by Nintendo, um, and those are actually real. You may not think that, because there are a couple things that say, like, Wario's eye isn't there, but actually it's the picture quality. His eye is in the picture. It shows his character portrait, and there's no eye, but there actually is. Also, like, apparently Game & Watch's hand is not reaching into the pic. I'll show a picture on screen right now, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's actually legit. You know why it's legit? It was actually proved less than a week after it came out by Nintendo. First of all, they they um, they filed a lawsuit against him, from what I hear, I hear, and like a ton. So they filed a ton of legal action against him. But what else th they um, they did is there was just a trailer 
for Shulk being in Smash 4. And days before that, with the leak, with the leak showing the full roster, it showed a character portrait of Shulk. That portrait is identical to how he looks in Smash 4. And it came out days before the Shulk announcement. So Shulk was just confirmed for Smash 4, and Bowser Jr. was con- I should probably put up spoilers, but anyway, uh, Bowser Jr. was confirmed for Smash 4 through that leak. Uh, Dr. Mario was confirmed for Smash 4 through that leak. So yeah, I'll actually put a link to like an article about it on the video description so you guys can see. So yeah, the full roster was just announced. Ridley's not on it. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Ah, <sighs> what a pickle I'm in. Hmm? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. I'm a craftsman and I work with bamboo, as you can see. But I can't get a, get any to work on right now. Oh, I shouldn't burn you burden you with my problems, Wolfie. Wolfie. Craftsman, Mr. Bamboo. Boy, that must be some big pickle if you're confiding in a wolf. Hello there. Uh, wait, what was that voice? Hello there, little sprite. Here to listen to my an old man ramble. I always gather bamboo over on Sasa Sanctuary and talk a pass. But I hadn't been able to get in get in there lately. The Sparrow Clan has suddenly closed an entrance to Sa Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, what? How I do wish I could craft my bamboo ware. I'm an old man, and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's just around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Oh, it ain't the end of the world, Gramps. What? What? We, what have we got ourselves mixed up in now, Ami? Good question. Now, I could go in his house and pillage it for food, but there's actually literally nothing in there. Nothing. Not, no food, no money, nothing. So, I, we'll probably come back and do a more thorough search of the area once we've restored it, if it's possible to restore this area. And good, stay time. And also, there's a map transition inside this pillar. Wow, that's some major bamboo right here. That Mr. Bamboo must really love his work. And there's a map transition inside of this, apparently, bamboo. And wow, this bamboo... Wow, look how tall this bamboo is. Is that even possible for bamboo to get that thick? That's amazing. And there's a map transition in there, which I have to point that out, because there is a map transition inside this bamboo. Also, this is like the one item that doesn't appear disappear when we look at it. Does this do that? It does. We can see inside the house. We can s okay. <laughs> That's weird. We can see inside the house, sort of. But we can't see through this bamboo. That makes no sense. I don't know. Whatever. That was strange. So, yeah, we can do nothing else here. Nothing. Also, it's really sad because now that we have, like, no... No... Not godhood. Because we do have godhood. We have the highest level of godhood. But we have no, uh... Ink? We can't actually do our fast run anymore. We have to just constantly spam the dash command. Like so. Now, I'm not even sure if that's faster. Okay, let's go ahead and go up here. Because I feel like there's probably something up here. There's a Konohana Blossom, which I can't do anything with. What else is there? There's this thing. Nothing else? I mean, uh, this does lead somewhere, of course, but... Where? Where? Seriously. Where is this going? Whoa. Wait, is the evil, like, thicker here? Also, who are you? Oh, this is most unfortunate. I've been... Whoa. Oh. Oh, my word. I thought... I thought... Oh, wait. She had... Oh, wow. I've been possessed in a momentary lapse in vigilance. I was try trying so hard to defend this village. Now it shall be reduced to a horrible curse zone. Alas, my strength. It wanes. All is lost. Are we going to battle her? No. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. We have a new battle, and we can't get the floral finisher. Oh, that was so dumb of me. Why did I... Oh, I have to miss more floral finishers. That's so bad. Okay, well, I guess it's time to... Snap. Okay, let... Pause, game. Okay, well, I guess I have to just use this. Exorcism Slip S. And then... Exorcism Slip S. I will be... I will not be showing the character bio for this imp because we cannot get the floor finisher for it. 
so I have to miss three floral finishers. That makes me so angry. Ah. Ah. Well, I guess at least we helped her out. Does that restore the area? It does! Oh my word! Oh my word! It restored the area! I didn't think we'd, we could do anything here yet! Hmm? Have I been freed from the evil curse? You have saved me, but I do not know how. What in the world happened, sweetness? Oh. Oh. Are you familiar with my family, the Satomi House? No. I can see now that you are not. Still, you may be of great service to me yet. Will you not listen to what I have to say? You just keep talking, pretty lady. Isun's listening. Oh, thank you. I am Princess Fuse, priestess of the Ga Gale Shrine. Oh, so she was the priestess that they talked about being swallowed up. Princess Fuse. The Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Kamiji. Ah, Kamiji, that's the name. Kazagami, the god of wind, is enshrined there. The, the wind blowing down from there keeps the monsters away. Known as the Divine Wind, it is venerated as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day, and that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Will you hear the rest of my story? There is only one explanation for why the Divine Wind stopped. It is that horrible monster, Crimson Helm. The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Ga Crimson Helm's control ever since he appeared in Taka Pass 100 years ago. My people, the Satomi House, keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest when he was weakened by sickness, and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only we could va I could vanquish the Crimson Helm and free the Gale Shrine. But I am no match for the evil barrier that now bars sentry. There is only one hope now. Only the warriors who ser serve the Satomi House can right this wrong. Our last remaining hope in for defeating the Crimson Helm is for the Satomi Canine Warriors. The Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the shrine and served the Satomi House for ages. But alas, they are now scattered throughout Nippon. If we could bring them together again, they could break the barrier and retake the shrine. Really? Then why don't you just summon these, those puppies on back? I have already tried, but I have yet to receive any word of their coming. I have sensed their presence nearby, but I have yet to find them. Well, what if they were attacked and injured, or even worse? I beg you, would you please sniff out their whereabouts? You might find this useful. You obtained Canine Tracker. I sense five of the Satomi, Satomi Canine Warriors here in this village. They are a temperamental bunch and don't ca take kindly to strangers. But they should return to me once they see the Canine Tracker. The Canine Tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it, along with your strength, to find them. Leave it to us, sweetness. We'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see how she thanks us, Ami. <laughs> uh, Isun, ever the ladies, man. Uh, and that is actually going to be it for this episode. There are stray beads to be had, and I actually honestly did not know that we could get this area back out of the uh, evil that had enslaved it, I guess is the right term. But I guess we did. So next episode, we'll be going through this area, finding the canine warriors. And honestly, who knows? And you know what? Thus has Waka's prediction come true. He mentioned that we're going to have a quest. And you know what? There are dogs. And you know what the dogs are? Do uh, they are gone. So it's a dog. <laughs> gone. They're dogs that are gone. It's a quest involving us finding dogs. Get it? He, he made a pun. He, he made a pun, guys. It was, it was a pun. It, guys, it was, it was a good pun. It was, it was good.
Oh, he's not impressed. Anyway, that's actually going to be it for this episode. Next time, we'll do everything that we, I said. And I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then uh, I'm not going to ask you to like this episode or subscribe. I'm going to ask you to comment. Because I want you guys to comment. I want this viewer base to grow. So go ahead and leave a comment in the video in the video comment section about how ways I can improve, ways I can, ha I can, um, or tips for Okami, because it's been a long time since I played it. I'm still, this game is actually semi-blind for me. I do know, like, what end we are trying to achieve, but I do not know the means at which we achieve it. So, it's semi-blind, so give me a tip, but don't spoil the game for others. And if you give me a tip, then put a spoiler warning up there. Also, if you want to talk about the Smash Bros. League, go ahead and talk about that in the comments as well. But as for me, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. So, see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. As we look at... <laughs> sweetness. Yo, girl. I see you have cat ears. And you want us to find dogs. That's dangerous for you. <laughs>